If you have a light that strobes or pulses like this, it's probably a bad ballast. Just one. Then you're thinking about replacing the whole fixture. Stop and realize that you can just replace the tube lamps, cut the ballast out, and never have to deal with that thing ever again. Welcome back to the channel. Does your light do this? Now, let's be honest, even if it isn't a bad ballast, it's still better to do this. Just one. That's just one LED tube light. And that's what two LED tube lights look like. They're really easy to do, let me show you. Do you see where that says direct drive? That's really important to make sure you get a direct drive LED tube replacement. That means we can cut the ballast out and wire the tombstones directly to line voltage. Let me show you. The first thing you're gonna need is a ladder. Always follow the rules of the ladder. It says don't step beyond this step. If your ladder's not tall enough and you can't reach the ceiling, get a bigger ladder. Next thing you're gonna need is a light. You're gonna need to be able to light up where you're working because we're gonna turn the power off. Maybe I'll tell you a story about a shocking experience another time, but just simply turning off the light switch does not guarantee that you're gonna be safe. Always turn off the breaker. The breaker should always be locked off and you should be the only one with the key. If you're working in your house, make sure everybody knows that you're gonna be working on the electrical system and make sure that nobody turns it on while you're working on it. Okay, now that I've got a light source, we can get started. Go to your electrical panel and figure out what circuit your lights are on. One hand touches here, one hand touches there, like that. What you're doing, you're sending 120 volts across your heart. Make sure you know what you're doing when working on electrical circuits. If you don't understand that, leave me a comment below and I'll explain how neutrals can still shock you even when the power is off. By the way, I respond to a ton of my comments, help with a ton of troubleshooting, help with a lot of different things that all of my subscribers are having trouble with. So just give me a shot. If you have a question, feel free to ask. And they should just pop right out. Oh, with a twist and a pull, obviously. No, this is not the proper way to dispose of these. These are just sitting here that way. If they do break, they don't make a mess. I'm not intending on breaking these. I'm gonna dispose of these properly. Now, if you have super channel lock fingers like I do, you can loosen this, but you might need a tool. With that removed, you can just pop this belly pan off. Give it a little shake and a pull. It's important that these tombstones remain intact because we're going to be reusing them. What we need now is some strippers. We are cutting this ballast out. We want these wires as And then the wires are coming from the ballast. Those are the yellow wires. And the tombstones plugged into this. In this case, what we did was we took the house power and we put in an LED tube light. Now the house power, the black and the white, we completely cut out the ballast so the ballast is no more. No more ballast connected at all. We completely cut that sucker out, gone. So what happens is we had the neutral from the house wiring and we had the hot. The ground was already attached. One hot one on this side. We took all those wires and we wired them together. Okay, so we got a good joint there. Our black wire is going directly there. Okay. We do the same thing here. We're going to. And cut then the wires that were coming over. from here, 
We're gonna tie we took those and we tied now, them to the neutral. Trick. This white's already tied in, so instead of making multiple joints, cut this wire from this ballast here. Like that. Now this is longer so it can reach these. Cut and these then the like wires you said. That are coming from here. We We're going to strip all these. Tie them to the neutral. Or vice versa. We could have flipped this. And this could have been the neutral. That's the joint there. And this could have been the hot. Second. This is still tied in. This neutral is still tied in. Tie this neutral in. Like that. We cut all this wire flush like we did there. Take our wire nut. Now what we got is the white wire going to that side. Then we have the black wire going to that side. Now we can turn the power back on. This is what they look like here. You can see there these are 14.5 watts at 5,000 Kelvin K. That's just a color scheme. The more yellow, the lower the K rating. So 3,000 would be, you know, somewhat yellow. 35 is getting a little bit brighter, more usable light. And then you've got 4,000 and 5,000, which would be my favorite. This is gonna be 5,000. It should look just like these. Let's see how we did. So just like regular lamps, you line up the ends, push it up and twist. There we go. Really wanted it clicked in there. Let me get another one. There's our house wiring. If you were to touch this neutral here, this how it was coming here, you wouldn't get shocked. Right there, and this wire here is 120 volts here. This wire here is 120 volts there. And the light was off because the switch was open you would read 120 volts because there's a difference. If this switch was closed and on and the light was on, you would read zero volts because you're not gonna get a difference across the two. If you get in between a neutral even if you're not grounded. One hand touches here, one hand touches there, like that. What you're doing, you're sending 120 volts across your heart. By the way, like I said before, Half an amp will kill you. There's nothing to sugarcoat here. You start working on hot circuits. Start trying to impress people. You don't know what you're doing. You don't understand how circuits work. It's not worth it. So please ask any questions. If you don't know what you're doing, turn off all the breakers. Be safe out there. Hand to hand, and it's not going to end well for you. 
has a hot terminal and a neutral terminal. You have one neutral that jumps in between the two, like this. Okay, sharing the neutrals. So this slide is pulling a uh, total one amp here, one amp, and one amp. Okay, a total of two amps on the neutral. It takes less than a half an amp to kill you in the right circumstances. Okay, we got two amps on our neutral. We turn off breaker two. This light turns off. So now this light's off because we killed the, we killed circuit two, right? So no more hot going to it essentially. This light's off so you start working on it. Everything's good. You're working on the hot. You get to the neutral and you break these wires off. This light's in another room. So you don't know this light is still on. Remember, the neutrals are sharing. The hot is still on on circuit one. The neutrals are shared. This is a return path for this light. Is at the light you were working on. The power's off. You can't get shocked by the hot. Inside your junction box, and you touch one to your hand, and you touch one to that hand. You still have one amp on this light. This is inside this box right now. You just put 120 volts across your heart. Even though the breaker was off. Because if you follow the return path of current, this light's still on. And the neutral is going across to you. To the return. I hope that makes sense. I hope I explained it slow enough. I hope I didn't explain it too slow. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So believe it or not, some of those tube lamps are made of glass and you should handle them very carefully when twisting them in. You don't want to break them. All right, well, that's it. So that is how you wire from a fluorescent tube with a ballast fixture that's old and you're thinking about replacing the whole fixture. Stop. And realize that you can just replace the tube lamps cut the ballast out and never have to deal with that thing ever again so cut the ballast out you'll be thanking me later thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one